Door news. Is the record holder for Stellar Cool. Claps of thunder announce this process somewhere on Earth as often as 50 times a second. Stay cool. I am awesome. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... It's about getting people out of harm's way, minimizing damage, and it shouldn't be seen as one country's problem. It's a global problem. A NASA infrared image of Comet Siding Spring, the comet also known by a less catchy name of There's a lot of science that's hurting. Leading astronomers have warned the Earth has been left with a huge blind spot for potentially devastating comet strikes. After the only dedicated comet spotting program, the only dedicated comet spotting program in the Southern Hemisphere lost its funding. The Southern Hemisphere. That's the bottom. That's the deep end. It's a real worry. Now professional astronomers are sounding alarm bells. Well, hey, welcome to the party, pal. We got beer and frustration. There's a lot of science that's hurting. I feel you, man. I feel your pain. Well, fantastic. And so I went to bed crestfallen, heartbroken, and numb. And I had this weird dream. Man, it made no sense. Like there's a flash of light on Mars. And I was a Jedi. I was running. I was running. I was mad. I am a Jedi. Why am I always running everywhere? I was hitting on chicks. Wasn't doing too hot. Hey, baby, would you like to make go in my spaceship and make out? The Migrant Merchants Guild has grown increasingly hostile and violent. Their criminal enforcers have acquired military-grade weaponry. So is that a yes or a no? Authoritative women. Turn me on. And then I ran into two stormtroopers. And they weren't making no damn sense. A new experiment called In Space, No One Can Hear You Scream. Every day. Experimenters have learned to start fires without flames from the human brain. Every day. It literally pulses us. Every day. You're not imagining things when it happens to you. But occasionally attracts attention. And was the comet's tail actually wagging? Ironically, scientists think it's like being at a NASCAR race. And now, the solar system has one less dirty snowball. Red sprites, down in the mud. Finally, we're beginning to see some action. Blue elves. They are really strong. Meteor smoke. A beautiful bonus. For one thing, we will learn a lot about ourselves, she says. Some of her favorite experiments are in the area of human health risks. That's why the current outbreak and most widespread ancient DNA, it happened again. It would not be the last. A telltale sign of mysterious dark matter, auto engines. At least one TGF every few hours and a large TGF every couple of days. It is peanut-shaped and filled with almost nothing. And much more. Ma'am, you are not making no damn sense. No way. Why am I a Wookiee? And then all of a sudden, I was a Wookiee. What lies? What? Half of the sun appeared to be blowing itself to bits. What? As cool as you are, you know what it feels like to be a solar physicist. It all added up to tonight, bunched together in this way, down in the mud, so close that you can hide them together behind your outstretched palm. There's a tiny patch of tissue near the center of form a slender heavenly triangle, and you can see the formation, wrecked, comes into contact with and penetrates the when volcanoes erupt and choke Venus, being inside a Venus, coming from all directions, either to each other or to the lightning down below and blue jets shoot toward the heavens simultaneously. All of them, all at once, went off like popcorn. We know because the explosions blew an enormous bubble and we're inside it. What do you mean by that? Suggesting that much or all of the soft charge exchange has been observed many times in comets. What, what are you talking about? And they are extremely puzzling. Wait. So much for the Goldilocks zone. Are you attractive underneath that storm? Trooper outfit? Is there like a clone person in there? Or are you just a suit? A nice scientist tweeted about a Guardian article where now the Earth would be at risk after cuts close comet spotting program, scientists warn. I said that awkwardly, but you heard it correct. Earth at risk, or now way more at risker. Yes, the exact sighting spring that discovered Count Siding Spring 
is getting closed. Astronomers sound alarm after closure of the Australian early warning program that spotted sighting spring. Comet. The one that at first seemed like a dud, and then an astronomer showed his own video with there being flashes. BP Earthwatch did a take on it, and suspicious observers broke down how the slew broadcast happened to cut away at the most interesting times. So, alarm bells, let's go down the list. First was epoxy during Comet Ison. It died. There's the Goes Eve, the infrared camera that I was watching the coronal crown cavity. It died. Stereo B from the two stereo cameras, which make up my favorite space satellite duo. B died. And A's having problems. And then the Canada France Hawaii telescope has been offline for seven months. So it's kind of like it died. And now we're losing sighting spring. I guess astronomers are now sounding the alarm bell since the writing is on the wall. For a dumbass, I sure get shit right way ahead of time. Are you serious? Our politicians have very crazy priorities. Sometimes I think their only priorities are to build bunkers and get reelected. And that's not the America I hold in my heart. It's a real worry. Bradley Tucker, an astronomer at Australian National University, a new and the University of Cal Berkeley. There could be something hurtling towards us right now, and we wouldn't know about it. Celestial objects that pass within 7.4 kilometers of the Earth, or which are more than 150 meters in diameter, are considered potentially hazardous asteroids, PHAs, FAS. There are 1,508 known cases. It's essentially like a nuclear bomb going off in the atmosphere. It's essentially like a nuclear bomb going off in the atmosphere, Tucker said. These things can do inconceivable damage. Inconceivable. I'm working on building up my iocane powder resistance. Look at all those trees burning. One of the siding spring sites is also in danger due to oil exploration, drilling and fracking, causing too much light pollution. Savage brush fires around the Siding Spring Observatory nearly ended the program in January last year. The ANU pitched in more money after NASA signaled that funding was running out. But by July 2013, all avenues had dried up. There's a lot of science that's hurting. I feel you, man. I feel your pain. May's federal budget stripped the country's scientific research agency, the silo of $111 million in funding with more than 500 jobs expected to go. Tucker said programs to track abandoned spacecrafts, flecks of paint, and other space junk were still relatively well-funded. Tucker said programs to track abandoned spacecrafts, flecks of paint, and other space junk were still relatively well-funded. But the Siding Spring Telescope used by the program needs an expensive upgrade, and nobody was interested. It's limited science money. It's something I always have to give. But there's always war money. The Siding Spring Survey's partner site in Arizona continues to operate, meaning Northern Hemisphere astronomers can keep their gaze trained on the objects coming from the Northern Galactic Plane. But obviously, the Northern Hemisphere cannot see objects in the Southern sky. That comet that went past Mars, that was a Southern Hemisphere comet. It came from deep in the Southern Hemisphere sky. The Northern Hemisphere would have never seen it. The task of searching the Southern Galactic Plane was now left to amateurs and enthusiasts with a decent telescope in the backyard, Adam said. Tucker said the problem was that government still saw comet and asteroid spotting as an academic pursuit rather than an early warning system. The idea needs to switch from thinking of it as scientific research and to seeing it as something no different to tracking cyclones, he said. It's about getting people out of harm's way, minimizing damage, and it shouldn't be seen as one country's problem. It's a global problem. Scientists at ANU received 60 million funding earlier this year to develop another solution. Lasers that could be beamed from Earth to slow down or alter the orbit of space debris before it collided with Earth. Lasers. Pew 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 pew
astronomers have warned the only dedicated comet spotting program in the southern hemisphere lost its funding. Well, fantastic. No way. Why am I a Wookiee? Strictly speaking, if you know how to listen. Stay tuned for answers to these and other comet questions as the analysis continues. Comet listens and learns. Just one problem. Meanwhile, thunderclouds, bolts of lightning, including the red and blue light of sprites, elves, and jets, it happened again. This is a very surprising development. Newsflash, the bulb is glowing. On the horizon, a long, dark line appears. Chinese and Arab astronomers saw it in broad daylight. This could be telling us something profound about the Nevertheless, the universe is a big place, and there are a lot of things out there that astronomers can't identify. I expect some surprises out there. Every day. I'd put this one in the top ten of all time. As the old saying goes, in space, no one can hear you scream. Hence the name. Obviously, those who exterminate life on Earth is underway. Who could resist? And when they do, presto, it's spellbinding astronomy. Note to comets, stay away from the sun. We call it, the dead not be so dead after all. Overhead hangs earth and lightning hazards. And Boba Fett showed up, and he was mad. He didn't sound mad, but he was firing a cannon, which is usually a sign that you're either mad or trying to make money by blowing shit up or getting people killed. Ooh, I love you so, Stormtrooper girl. Yeah, you know it's true. Hold me, love me. Ooh, I love you so, Stormtrooper girl. I'm just kidding. It was greased lightning. It was greased lightning. The only source of funding would be to displace funding from higher funding rated funding mission operations in funding senior funding mission review. Due to funding constrained funding budget funding conditions, funding of the Max Wise proposal has been declined. There was a small EMP in the area, so I'm having to use carrier pigeons to send this audio. If I use it to one too many fundings, blame the telegraph. Time machines! The Max Wise proposal is declined, Potter! It is tremendously disappointing. I mean, I guess I'm cynical. I have very little faith in government. At this moment, it seems its interests are wholly self-serving. Hey, what can I say? What can I do? I'm just one man. You know, you got the thumb down and everything else, so please, Master, just let me be. I shall now get in touch with my elected representatives. Like, who represents the whore? This is your mix. Congratulations. Cheer up, my little Spock Arena. It's like the Macarena, but way sexier and cooler. Everybody knows Spock was well known for his rhythm. I'm talking about such an astronomical phenomena. Say what? I said to find me the sun. Feeling happy hour. Feeling happy hour. Yeah. I'm talking about certain astronomical phenomena. Do you understand me? Say what? Cheer up, my little Spock Arena. And that is why you come to Thor New, because I do the hard-hitting puff pieces on pseudo-astronomy. Either act like a seven-year-old kid, or I act like Superman. God bless y'all. Have a good night. Peace out. See you on the flip side. Fine. Okay. That's right. I am awesome, and you're a mad exclamation point. Ooh, you're mad. Awesome. Doing the awesome dance. Hey. I am doing the awesome dance. Cue, Please, cue, for the love of God, doing the awesome go away. Dance. Cue, 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 cue. Please, go away. Stop. I'll take you in. You as top guard, stand there, do nothing. Baby, tell us so true. I am awesome.